I'm Jonathan Strauss. I'm one of the radiation oncologists here at the Robert H. Lurie Cancer Center at Northwestern University. I specialize in the treatment of breast cancer. And today I'd like to talk a little bit about the use of radiation for early stage breast cancer. Historical trials had told us in early stage breast cancer that we could do just as well with breast conserving therapy, that means a lumpectomy and radiation, as we could do with mastectomy. And for that reason, that really has emerged as the standard of care. For many years, what we did was a lumpectomy and external beam radiation for several weeks for everybody in a one-size-fits-all approach. Much more recently, we've been trying to individualize therapy instead of using a one-size-fits-all approach. And that really means finding groups of women who may be at such low risk of recurrence that they could leave out radiation we're finding other more convenient forms of radiation for some women as well. When we think about women with invasive breast cancer, we've identified a subset of women at very low risk of recurrence. A randomized trial has helped us identify that women over the age of 70 who have small estrogen receptor positive tumors and who are planning to get a hormonal therapy are already at low risk for recurrence. And the incremental benefit for adding radiation is relatively small. When I meet a woman like this and she comes to talk to me, I discuss the pros and cons of getting radiation. The small benefit it provides weighed against the hassles and side effects of treatment. And some of these women will choose to omit radiation. For these women, another very good option is what we call hypofractionation, or external beam done in a shorter schedule that's more convenient. And either of these options is very reasonable. When we think about the treatment of DCIS, or ductal carcinoma in situ, we have four randomized trials that told us that radiation cuts the risk of recurrence in half after a lumpectomy. That is true, but it's also true that some women are at very low risk of recurrence at baseline. These women appear to be women who are postmenopausal with small, low to intermediate grade DCIS that's widely excised. And for these women, omission of radiation may also be a reasonable option. Again, these women will sit down in consultation with us and we'll go over what we believe to be the pros and cons of using radiation and the options of radiation that exist now. Again, for all women, I think we're past the idea of a one-size-fits-all approach for everyone. And instead, we really think an individualized approach is more important. So for women with these cancers, I think meeting with a radiation oncologist who specializes in breast cancer and having a longer discussion about the options that are available is the right thing to do.